Welcome back everyone. So using a new operating system on a virtual machine is always a good idea. And let me give you some good reason before proceeding on how to install the Kali Linux on a virtual machine. So some of the major advantages are like you can run different kind of operating systems simultaneously without any kind of problem and you can enjoy them and you can test them. Number two, you will be having the separate memory that is like separate hard disk and the memory for your virtual machine and for the real computer. Number three, that is the most important one that is the security. So while using any kind of operating system on a virtual machine, you are totally safe. You can visit any kind of website. You can open any kind of inbox. You can open any kind of attachment or you can test any kind of application no matter that contains any malicious content or any kind of viruses. So there are many more advantages. These are the best one that I shared with you. And now let's see that how exactly you have to install it. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. So you can download the virtual machine on your Windows 10 or Windows 11, no problem. And there are different kind of virtual machines available. But the one today that I will be using will be the VMware Workstation. And it's absolutely free so you will have to bring up any of your favorite browser then you have to search for vmware download and click on the first link that says download vmware and here you have to scroll down a bit and it says try workstation 17 player for windows so you have to click on download now and the downloading will be started and it's around 540 mb so it will take some time so once it get installed open the setup file run it install it and once it will be installed, you will be getting this kind of dashboard of VMware Workstation. Now here you can see that I have already installed Windows 11, Windows 10 that I use for the testing purpose. But if you are using it for the first time, then what you will have to do here, you need to click on create a new virtual machine. Now here it will ask you the installer disk image. So now you will have to download the Kali Linux ISO. So for that again, bring up your browser, open a new tab type here kali linux download click on the first link that says get kali and here it says installer images virtual machine so you will have to click on installer images then scroll down a bit and you will be getting different uh additions like you can go with the 64 bit 32 or for the arm 64 so you will have to go with the 64 bit so click on this download arrow icon Again, the downloading will be started and it's around 3.8 gigabytes. So you will have to wait until the downloading has been completed. And once the downloading has been completed, you will have to click on browse here. And then you need to locate to the Kali Linux ISO that you have just downloaded, select it, then click on open. Once selected, you will have to click on next. Now here in the guest operating system, you will have to select Linux. And in the version, you don't have to choose Ubuntu. And you need to look for Debian 11x 64 bit because the Kali support the Debian version. Select it, then you will have to click on next. Virtual machine name, if you want to rename it, like I will name it as Kali. Now, if you want to change the location, then you can change it because you need to make sure the place, the location where you are exactly saving this machine, that should have the enough space. All right. So if you want to change the location, you can change from here, then you will have to click on next. Then it will ask you the disk size. The minimum required is around 25 gigabyte, but I would recommend you that at least go with 35 or 40 gigabyte. But it again depends that how much space you have available on your C drive or the drive where you are trying to install it. So on my end, you can see I have around 166 gigabyte free. So no matter, I will go and take around 40 gigabyte. Then click on next. Then you have to click on customize hardware. And here you can change the memory allocation like by default it will be selected to 2 gigabyte and the Kali will run in 2 gigabyte but if you can go with 4 gigabyte that will be far better. Processor you can give it to around like 3. Then you don't have to make any kind of changes. Click on close and click on finish. So once you click on finish you will be getting this kind of page that says play virtual machine. So click on it. And then you will be getting this kind of dashboard that says graphical install, install advanced options. So here you have to select graphical install, select it, hit the enter key. And now next it will ask you to select a language. So select your desired language, click on continue, select your location again, then click on continue. 
configure the keyboard layout so whichever keyboard layout you want select it click on continue and it will start detecting the hardware so just wait for a few seconds until you get the next screen and next it will ask you to configure the network so it will ask you the host name so i will give the host name as kali only but if you want to change it then you can change it or you can keep it to kali only then you will have to click on continue domain name if you want to give any kind of domain name if you are from any organization you can give it i will leave it blank then click on continue now it will ask you to set up the user and the password so it's a very important part because without any user and password you will not be able to log into your Kali Linux machine so it says type the full name of the new user so I will type round geek then I will click on continue now it says username for your account so you will have to type the username so type your desired username then click on continue now here you have to enter the password once done just retype it and then click on continue now it will say to configure the clock so whichever uh, time zone you want to go with you can select it then click on continue and now next you will be getting the partition disk option so here you have to select guided use entire disk now entire disk means the total disk size that you selected like if you remember i selected 40 gigabytes so entire disk will be used but if you want to create some kind of partition then you can go with the manual I want to recommend you in the beginning so kindly go with guided use entire disk click on continue click continue again keep this selected to all files in one partition click on continue then keep this selected to finish partitioning and write changes to disk click continue write changes to disk so click on yes click on continue and the installation of the base system will be started so again wait for some time until you get the next screen now next it will ask you the software selection that what all software you want to be included so by default few of the software will be automatically selected if you also want to add the genome and the kde plasma then you can select it then you will have to click on continue and it will start installing the software that you have selected so again wait for some time all right so now next it will ask you to configure the display manager so you can go with any one of them you can keep this selected to gdm3 only then click on continue and meanwhile guys just make sure that this installation process take a long time especially the kali linux operating system so just have some patience and wait until all the installation process has been completed okay so now next it will ask you to install the grub boot loader that is very important part so again you have to keep this selected to yes and click on continue and then here it give you two different option enter device manually or dev forward slash sda so you have to select the second one that says forward slash dev forward slash sda select it then you have to click on continue and the grub bootloader installation will be started okay finally it says finish the installation installation complete now you will have to click on continue and after finishing the installation it will be now rebooting it and once rebooted you have to select the Kali Linux hit the enter key and then finally you will be coming to the login page and here you can find the same username that we created so I will click on it and type the same password that we created while configuring the Kali Linux machine bingo so now you can see we are inside the Kali Linux machine and we are on the desktop and from here you can do whatever you want to and you can see the Kali Linux navigation has been changed in the new update so you would be able to enjoy it and now in order to use this virtual machine in the full screen you have to click on this full screen mode that is on the left and top and it will be now running in the full screen now you can go ahead and enjoy any kind of website do any kind of testing do whatever you want to without any kind of risk so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye